Three, two, two one. Unveil. This brand new four panel mural depicts indigenous plants with medicinal qualities. Which are wild bergamot, wild strawberry, coneflower, uh, false wild indigo, to name a few. Those are the ones that I include in the piece. Um, and I did some research on medicines like wild strawberry. I learned that in certain indigenous cultures it is referred to as the heart berry. Um, and it's a very important medicine. So those are one of the, the things I learned along the way, which, I'm, which is very cool to me. <laughs> the plants included in the mural were chosen because there's a garden outside of the Beatty branch of the Milton Public Library where some traditionally medicinal plants are growing. It was one project funded by a $50,000 grant from the Government of Canada. The mural was another. The Director of Support Services hopes both present an opportunity for education. So we expect our communities to walk in to look at it and then teach their younger generations what does they mean, what is the significance of Indigenous arts, and so that, so that we, can, we are able to preserve that knowledge. As our Canada is growing, we are tend to lose that knowledge. So this is our Winter Public Library's efforts to preserve that knowledge in one way. The artist is hoping for an additional connection. I definitely wanted to um, create that connection with the outside world and bring it to, you know, to the inside of the library. Um, and then I also hope that because for me, nature, it's so healing and uplifting. And so with this piece, I hope that when people enter the library and they saw it, it gave them that same um, you know, feeling of positivity and uplift and uplifted their spirits when they came in. This unveiling also marked the beginning of National Indigenous History Month, for which the library has a catalog of books and additional programming during June. Jason Trout for Halton News in Milton.